Hey guys, how's it going? What's it telling? Filming in my truck. Kind of stopped here up the side of the road because I'm waiting for the truck to do its whole regen bull crap. I absolutely hate these new trucks with the diesel exhaust fluid. I think it's freaking it's a BS green scheme that freaking those stupid Californians like to come up with. So every time I fuel up I have to go and get diesel exhaust fluid for the DPF filter so my truck's cleaner. Whatever, just robs the truck of horsepower and all this other crap. Anyhow, that's another topic for later. So, I am here to do a quick little video response to Prepper Nurse 1 about the Yellowstone Super Volcano eruption and whether or not I would be prepared for an event such as that. Well, Prepper Nurse 1, to say the least, I'm going to say no. Outside of maybe one to two years of the Yellowstone super volcano going off, I'm probably not going to live much longer than that. I, I give myself, like I said, two years, two years, absolute tops, two years. My folks, they're getting older. Friggin' my dad, he'll be hitting 60 next year, so <laughs> I don't see them surviving. And like I said, I don't see myself surviving much longer than they will because, like I said, that, that kind of event would absolutely decimate any hopes or any plans of trying to reestablish anything for myself or for anyone within my group, for that matter. I don't think that any of us has more than a year or two of food. So, if starvation doesn't kill us, the lack of water will and if it isn't that because I live in the state of Colorado I live I live far south of that 100 mile 150 mile destruction radius wherever the heck they, they say it's gonna be but I'm still looking at probably get digging out at least I don't know anywhere from three to maybe nine feet of ash so we could potentially get buried alive in ash I could potentially die from having to breathe in all that silicate and all that ash particles and dust that the volcano kicks up in the air. And actually one of my good buddies, fellow Mormon, he brought up a good point that the water supply itself could be contaminated. Well, well it's, not, it's not could, it will be contaminated. The immediate underground water supplies near the... Uh, near the volcano, surrounding the volcano, the aquifers, they'll be contaminated. The, the rainwater runoff will all be contaminated with sulfur and all this other crap. Like That was something I didn't really think about. I should have, you know, you'd think, being a prepper, you'd think about that kind of stuff, but that was kind of something that kind of kind of glazed, glazed over my mind. I was thinking more or less the, the shoveling out all the ash, trying to keep it from caving the roof of the house in, but I don't know, that might even be, uh, kind of a false hope but yeah like I said outside of one two years I don't think we're gonna live much longer than that that's set you know I'd say that's most than I'd say probably about 99.9% .9 of all the uh, all the people living within my surrounding community outside of that yeah, like I said we'll probably either die from like I said from starvation from lack of water, potentially from breathing in too much dust and particulate, because I don't have any gas masks. I'm sure I could probably put together some uh, impromptu gas masks out of uh, some vacuum hose, some uh, empty soda bottles, and uh, ground crushed charcoal, and some uh, cotton from uh, ripped up t-shirts, but yeah. Like I said, we might die. We might even, like I said, we might, it might even be like Pompeii, where, like I said, we just get buried from so much ash and we just die from uh, the roof of the house collapsing. So, honest to God, 
unless you are like one of those super, super rich people, super, super rich preppers, or somebody who literally spent their entire life basically from, I don't know, the age of their early 20s until freaking their 40s or whatever, and they, they used every last single penny they had and invested it in building an underground bunker and had stock with, say, 10 or more years worth of uh, non-perishable freeze-dried foods. I don't see anybody surviving this. Even if you're on the opposite side of the world, I don't see anybody surviving this. The only other event that could possibly be any worse than this would be like an asteroid colliding with the Earth, which would probably result in the same kind of same kind of situation. I'm not even sure if, uh, I mean, nuclear war would be pretty bad too. I'm not even sure if uh, the effects of a nuclear war would be felt nearly as long as the effects of uh, a super volcano. I mean, I guess in that case, the ground would be irradiated and just have uh, radioactive fallout, radioactive uh, particulate all over the place, just contaminating everything what do they say like up to four four inches or so possibly six inches of topsoil will be completely contaminated with uh, radioactive fallout radiation don't go away in a day it, it'll be there in the ground for thousands upon thousands of years before it finally uh, it finally degrades to more of a safer level that it won't cause as many negative effects such as cancer anyhow I'm, I, I digress but anyhow yeah like I said to answer your question there prepper nurse uh, like I said I'm, I can't say that I'm really prepared for a super volcano I, I hope to God something like that don't even happen I, I'm worried about other things like an EMP or some sort of social or civil unrest or hell I don't know uh dollar collapsing, you know, pandemic, that'd be something I'd be more or less worried about. Super volcano or hell, where I live in my county alone, I should say, while I'm still somewhat on the topic of uh, nuclear war, um, I live in a really bad area if we were to ever go into nuclear war. Within my county alone, I counted up about four or five different military assets. We get the crap, like we we, we get the, the living bejesus just freaking bombed right out of us. I think all I would see is a, a, a great big flash of light right before the mushroom cloud, before I got, you know, vaporized. Because like I said, my county alone, we got we got NORAD, we've got, was it Fort Carlson, we got Peterson Air Force Base, and Shriver Air Force Base, all of them within the same county. And I think there might be one, one other uh, military asset out there. So yeah, we'd be dead. <laughs> there isn't anything I can do about it. But anyhow, well, that's my response. I'm out.